Hey, Dr. Huntington here, and in this video, I'll tell you which nutrients will promote youthful looking skin. Now, you might have heard the saying, your skin is the window to your health, and there's some truth to this. Because what you eat and drink can either make your skin look radiant and vibrant, or dull and sort of sick. Now, your skin's biggest enemy are unstable molecules called free radicals, and the damage they cause in your body is called oxidation. And this damage leads to premature aging. And one of the places where that aging is most noticeable is in your skin. Now, a poor diet full of unhealthy fat, and sugar, and toxic additives is the biggest source of free radical damage. And a healthy diet rich in antioxidants and healthy fat is your biggest tool to counteract free radicals. Eating lots of colorful vegetables, as well as a moderate amount of fruit, will diminish the harmful effects of free radicals on your skin and will help you to heal like dry, dull, sagging, discolored, and thinning skin. Now, this point of fruit in moderation is important. You know, people often make a commitment to eat healthy or they adopt what they might call a vegetarian diet in hopes of better health. And then they proceed to eat a diet consisting of mostly grains and pastas, right, and fruit. And they forget about getting enough vegetables and often lack adequate amounts of healthy fat. That's not going to be a good, you know, for your skin and it's not going to be good for your overall health. You see, the problem with the grains and with the fruit is the sugar. You don't want lots of sugar in your diet. In fact, you want to limit your sugar intake as much as possible. So the way to do that is to eliminate or severely limit the grains and eat a moderate amount of low glycemic fruit. That's fruit that doesn't have a lot of sugar in it, right? So, and eat lots of colorful vegetables and lots of healthy fats. Okay, so back to free radicals in your skin. Now, it's important to note that free radicals are not entirely evil. You know, your body naturally produces them, you know, every time you breathe and digest food or attack harmful bacteria. But it's when free radicals get out of control because you're producing too many of them. And then combine that with the problem of not eating enough antioxidant rich foods, that's when significant damage and disease can occur. Okay, so here are the nutrients that are the foundation of healthy skin. Selenium is a mineral and a powerful antioxidant that helps thyroid function. And if your thyroid isn't healthy, your skin's not going to look good. Selenium also helps your body produce the master antioxidant called glutathione. I mean, it's as simple as if you lack selenium, you can expect to have inflammation and premature aging. Now, some good sources of selenium are Brazil nuts, um, sunflower seeds, and grass-fed beef and poultry. Vitamin C is another antioxidant you want to load up on for healthy skin. You know, you need vitamin C to make collagen, and collagen is the protein that gives your skin elasticity. And that's, you know, one of the keys to having a youthful look. You know, if you bruise easily, um, or if your gums bleed, or you have swollen joints, uh, or you've been diagnosed with joint degeneration, you know, for example, in your spine or your knees or your hips, those are some of the signs that you might be lacking in vitamin C. Fruits like black currants, uh, papaya, and kiwi, and vegetables like broccoli and red and green peppers are great sources of vitamin C. Another nutrient vital to your skin is biotin, which is also known as vitamin B7. And it has a positive influence on healthy skin and looking, you know, and healthy looking uh, hair and nails. In fact, a biotin deficiency can be at the root of discolored and uneven skin tone and rashes. Now, biotin is stored in your liver. And interestingly enough, eating animal liver would be a great way to, to replenish your biotin store. But you'll also get biotin from egg yolks, uh, Swiss chard, and carrots, and the mighty avocado. And you'll also get biotin from sweet potato. And of course, we can't talk about health, the health of your skin, without including vitamin E. I mean, vitamin E may be the most powerful antioxidant to combat premature aging, rough skin, and weak capillaries. Olives and nuts are great sources of E. You know, so eat plenty of almonds, sunflower seeds, and hazelnuts. 
You can also apply vitamin, you know, pure vitamin E oil directly to dry, inflamed, or sun-damaged skin. And the same goes for avocado oil, because it's full, you know, of a very healthy fat called oleic acid, which helps with collagen production. You know, so use it liberally on your skin, or look for it, you know, as an ingredient in skin cleansers and moisturizers. You'll notice vitamin D and retinoids, um, a compound, you know, like a compound of vitamin A, in a lot of beauty products as well. And both function as antioxidants, helping to reduce wrinkles. Now, if you're gonna take a vitamin E in supplement form, there are two things that I want you to look for. First, don't consume a vitamin E supplement that is made from DL alpha tocopherol. So the key here is the L that's been stuck in there, right? DL. You don't want to consume that at all. That's bad. Okay, that's the synthetic form. You, know, you want to make sure that your supplement contains. D alpha to kifferol. You know, so there, there's no L in there. That's the key, right? Also, most vitamin E supplements only contain alpha to kifferol. So, like 80% of all your vitamin E supplements contain either this, the bad stuff, or only this, which is the good alpha to kifferol. Um, but that's only one part of the vitamin E family. You know, and there's 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 actually seven other parts to the family that are not in most vitamin E supplements, right? You know, and there's evidence that supplementing with only one member of the vitamin E family can throw off the balance of vitamin E in your body. So what you want to do is to take a supplement, a vitamin E supplement that contains all four tocopherols, D alpha is one of them, right, and all four tocotrienols, which is another part of the vitamin E family. Now, if that's new to you, it might be a lot to remember. So what I want you to do is to go to bodymanual.com and look up the product called Full Spectrum Vitamin E and look at those ingredients. And that's what you want in your vitamin E supplement. All right, so I hope this uh, video has been helpful to you. And uh, if it has been, you know, please like it and share it with others. All right, I'll see you in the next one.